Okay, so I have my hair pulled, you know, like it's my little thingy is on, so my hair is not gonna be in my face. So that's the picture that we're gonna be trying to like replicate. I'm trying to like look like a real life Bratz doll, so I don't think I'm, I'm not gonna do the anime eyes like that kind of Bratz doll. I'm gonna make it look like, you know, more realistic. So typically I start off with skin, but because this eye look is like so dramatic, um, I'll probably get like a lot of fallout, so I don't want to do my face first. I'm gonna start off with like my eyes. So her eyebrows are like really thin. So I'm just gonna try and fill mine in as thin as possible. I'm just going to arch them really good. And I'm gonna clean them up with some concealer and try and make them a little bit more narrow. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm using my Benefit brow pencil. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil in shade number four. Okay, so I filled them both in. So I'm gonna just take my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer and I'm gonna carve out my brows and like make them look a lot sharper and neater. I'm gonna take a little bit of the concealer cause her eyebrows are blonde and I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna run my spoolie, my eyebrow spoolie through it and like comb it through my brow hairs and then set it with a clear brow gel. I know that sounds like a lot, but I want my eyebrows to look a little bit lighter. Ooh, okay, slightly ashy like brow. <laughs> then I'm gonna take my 24 hour brow setter from Benefit and just set that so that the concealer doesn't like go anywhere. Okay, and then for the lid, I'm gonna be taking the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. I only use it if I really need like a really super full coverage eye base. So like I said before, we're gonna be using the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette, um, just cause this is like super colorful and I think it has all the colors I need. Like I'm gonna be working out of this section right here. This blue shade here, the very top one and buff this into my crease and I kind of want this to go really high and like practically into the brow. I remember Bratz dolls being like the it doll to have. Like Barbie was cute and all but if you had a Bratz doll you was Everybody who had brass dolls grew up to be a bad bitch, period. <laughs> like, we, we already know. I'm gonna actually take the same brush, but a darker blue. This one, to just build up this crease because I need depth for my clouds. Then to even deepen this <laughs> even more because it's still too bright, um, I'm gonna take the navy blue shade all the way down here. I'm also gonna mix in this shade here. Okay, so now it's time for the scary part. The part that's like literally gonna stress me out for the rest of the day. We have to do a cloud cut crease. So I'm sure you guys have seen this trend all over the internet, all over Instagram, but it's basically like a cut crease that looks like a cloud. And the brush that I'm using is a Morphe M124 brush to cut my crease. Dang, this doesn't look like a cloud. Fuck. <sighs> Why did I do it so high? Yeah, and I'm just gonna like fade out the end over here. I'm gonna take this white shade in the palette right at the bottom, and I'm just gonna put that all over my cloud. Why are my eyes so fucking big? Like, why do I have this much lid space? I don't understand. That's not white enough. Okay, so I went into an old Morphe palette. They don't sell this one anymore, so yeah. 
I just needed something that was more white than that eyeshadow because it wasn't enough. So now I'm gonna take some eyeliner because we've got some dramatic ass eyeliner and it's hella thick, which is my favorite kind of eyeliner to do. Yeah, it's like past her eyebrow, but I don't think I'm gonna go past my eyebrow. But I am gonna make it hella thick. Ooh, she thick. She's thicker than a snicker. This is hella thick. <laughs> ah, ah. Okay, so this is definitely like drag liner because what the fuck? Like I look so dramatic, it's crazy. Um, I lost all my deep blue that I put in there because I covered it with the clouds and the white and I, so I wanna add it back. I'm gonna take a really small blending brush Put it over here, over the last cloud. My girl has some like little stars and stuff cause you know, we're in space and shit. We're actually, we're not in space, we're, we're in the sky. This is the NYX white liquid liner. You wanna kinda do them like different sizes. And then there's like an actual like star, so I'm just draw a line and then cross it and kind of like connect them. And then on the other side, I'm not going to do a star, but I'm just going to do like a collection of like little dots. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do my face makeup pretty much the same, so I'm gonna quickly go ahead and do that and come back to finish off the eyes. You guys don't understand how dedicated I am to this look that I put contacts in, and I hate wearing contacts because it takes me forever to put them on. Like this, literally, it literally took me like 30 minutes just to put in one eye, and the other eye went in like two seconds. And this one's bothering me, and this one is completely fine. Like, I don't even feel this one, but this one feels like there's something, like, sitting on my eyeball. This one moves every time I blink, and this one doesn't. It's so freaky. The next part is going to be to smoke out the lower lash line. I'm going to use the same shades that I used on the top on the bottom. Smoke out the bottom lash line. I'm literally just mixing all the dark blue shades together, so. Ooh, this eye is hurting me. I'm gonna take this con this one contact out and just like finish the look and then I'll put it back in. And then just taking the light blue shade, the lightest blue, and kind of just putting that on the very outside. Mm. I know I look weird with like one contact. I'm sorry, I had to take that contact out. It was literally like irking my soul. She has some like lower, like three lower lashes. So I'm gonna take that same NYX black liner and just do gonna just do mascara on the top and bottom before I put on some lashes now okay so something else that my brat stall has um, are some cute little like she has two yeah she has two studs underneath each eye and I have these that I use like for nails and stuff um, I don't know if these are safe for the eyes so get you some that are safe for the eyes, but I'm just gonna use these and some lash glue and just stick them right underneath. Yes, okay, we're almost there. Okay, now it's time for lashes. Her lashes are like big and they're like on the end of her eye. I'm definitely gonna be going in with my Lily Lashes in the style Monaco. And I'm gonna put these like on the end of my eye, kind of up on the liner. Do I look like a brat Okay, so the eyes are pretty much done. I'm gonna go back and put in my contact when I'm 
all done. But I'm just gonna set my face. I'm using the Iconic London Prep Set Glow Spray, the Water Mist Original Spray. Using the Nicole Guerrero palette, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero palette. Just cause it has like this really like icy highlighter and her highlighter in the picture is very icy. Now I'll go in with Glow, Gl Glow Getter and then I'm gonna put Forever Lit on top. But I'm gonna take Forever Lit and put it on the tip of my nose with a smaller brush just to like really focus it because I don't want to disperse this one too much. But this one has like a blue reflective to it. Ooh, icy. I'm gonna tap it right in the middle and just like blend it out with my finger. <gasps> Ooh. Lastly, I'm just gonna do a little bit of blush. Um, her blush is like, you know, like a really soft pink. I don't really see, did I already put on blush? No, I didn't. I just put on bronzer, yeah. I don't really see a distinctive color, so I'm just doing my Milani Luminoso. Oh, I forgot her moles, all of her moles. Wait, let me do that really quickly. So she has one here like me. <laughs> I never do this, but like I should start. And she has one on her chin. She has one under her eye. And she has one above her brow. I am literally a brat stall at this moment. Oh, I only ended up having to do one lash and I just sat it on like the outside of my eyes so that it would look like more that way. This looks so crazy. <laughs> oh, uh, I kind of did that. Like I kind of did that. I'm going to use this CoverGirl lip pencil. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist lip liner in Garnet Red. This is butter from the ColourPop and Karuchi collab. I just need a little bit more brown in this because I just think it's too pink. So I'm gonna take a little bit of cork and just go over. Mm. Oh, I feel like a brat stall. Nah. I literally look like you can't tell me I didn't do that, period. Like, nah, I did that, period. <laughs> Alrighty, so that is the end of today's video. Let me know down below if you guys are loving this Bratz makeup recreation or just this Bratz makeup tutorial. I am actually like so happy with the way that this turned out because halfway through, I was thinking that this is going to be a flop, but... No, seriously though, I really, really do love the way that this look turned out. Let me know down below if you love it too. You can go ahead and give me a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the fam. We're going to have new videos three times a week from now on. So you might as well subscribe and turn on your post notifications. That way you can be notified every time that I do upload a video. I love you guys and thank you so much for watching. Yeah, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.